Robotic Butterfly. Here are the items you will get in your Robotic Butterfly kit. Along with the kit, you will also need a soldering iron, a Phillips head screwdriver, wire strippers, pliers, and safety glasses, and a heat gun. First, use the heat gun to soften up the plastic wings so you can bend it. Next, use the screws to attach the battery pack to the back of the butterfly. Now, push the motors to the wings of the butterfly. At this point, this is what your butterfly should look like. Now, attach the switches to the end of your butterfly with the switches facing inward. At this point, your butterfly should look something like this. Next, measure out and cut all the different wires to their appropriate lengths. The measurements don't have to be exact, but they just have to be close enough to connect the different parts of the butterfly. Remove the insulation from the ends of your wires using the wire stripper. Twist the ends of the wire so they can fit inside the end of the spade connector. Use pliers to crimp the end of the spade connector to hold the wires inside. At this point, reference your instruction manual to connect the wires to their appropriate places. Take your time to make sure you don't have any loose connections. This process can be a little frustrating, but don't worry, you're almost done. Now, bend the wires to make the antenna for your robotic butterfly. Now, use a blue piece of plastic tubing to connect the antenna to the switch. The antennas of your butterfly should have this general shape. Cut two sections of tire material and place them on the end of each motor shaft. With your butterfly now complete, connect your wires to the battery and watch your butterfly go. Once you're certain that the butterfly is working, you can permanently solder the wire to its components. Thanks for watching Super Viking Science.